Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies. Now, we're doing Endless Mode for survival. So let's get into this straight away. Gonna start by putting in as many sunflowers as possible. Probably gonna go for two rows. This is gonna go by very fast, by the way. Because I had to edit this down quite a fair bit. From almost two hours, down to, th down to 30 minutes. Each run of Survival Endless to get to like 20 flags at least takes about almost an hour, so. But yeah, we're gonna have to deal with everything that comes against us. We're gonna use some garlic to try and get rid of what we have to deal with right now, though. But yeah, this gets pretty difficult, and we probably wanna refine our strategy a bit. Right now I'm going with uh, repeaters and torchwood, which is an interesting strategy. Um, but yeah, the pool is interesting because the pool, depending on how you play, can either be very defenseless or very overpowered, basically. Where you have the advantage for most of the time. Let's just see how long we can make that last. Having the fire peas definitely helps a lot for this. It does a lot of damage. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. But yeah, we have to deal with two flags per round, which means we're going to have to go for like 10 rounds, I guess, to reach 20. But basically, each flag is a new challenge, almost. Let's see how we go with this one. We have a decent amount of repeaters already. And maybe once we get to the next round, we can also start putting in... ...some other stuff on top of that to upgrade them. Oh boy, stuff in the pool. We would stop it before they eat the torchwood. Almost, not quite. I don't know. Almost lost that. I do a lot of hovering around with stuff depending on what to do, because you really want to make sure you make your sun work right. Also in this mode, I, I believe possibly just this mode, all of the special plants, the ones with the purple backgrounds, increase by 50 sun every time you place one in, but it, 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 it's not, not based on how many you plant overall, it's based on how many are currently planted, so. But anyway, I've decided to go with some chompers out the front, which is an interesting strategy, because... Although they can take out a zombie, if they need to, in one go, they do take a while to actually process that before they actually can do it again. Tall nuts, I guess we can put them out there to try and slow the other zombies down, but even so, it might not be enough. We have some also, um, some spike weed out there, which will work in addition to everything else, so that's pretty good. We have some dancing zombies now. Which we won't see a ton of, because it, 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 although it gives us a different challenge every time, it doesn't keep every challenge for every, every wave, basically, otherwise that'd be insane, basically. Um, also, in this endless mode, there is a ton of zombies. Like, a ton. Each wave is just so many. But, it, like, so if they can get to something, they can eat through it so fast. They're like super zombies while they're approaching. But yeah, that's why we want the spike weed and stuff to really take them out bit by bits where there's less of them. By the way, that's four flags down already. And now we have pogo zombies to deal with next. And door, door zombies and newspaper zombies. A bunch of stuff. Let's hopefully deal with that though. Got an interesting selection of plants. Let's see how we go. Definitely want to upgrade some more things and try and get more twin sunflowers out there. That's basically what you want to do a lot of the time. Uh, but I'm not sure what to do right now. Gonna refix that up. Upgrade that. And I also probably want to start setting up some spike rocks. So I can get rid of some more of that. Quicker. The door zombies will be probably fine to get rid of because although their doors will block a lot of the bullets going through, once they die, it's not really a problem because all of the fire fire piece should be enough to take out everything else. Let's upgrade some more in the pool. Which I'd probably actually want to recommend doing more outside of the pool. Because that's where the real problems are going to start appearing. Because at the, at the moment the pool is pretty, pretty good. It might also be worth getting, um, what's it called? The Tangle Kelp, because that can just take out any zombies that are in the pool. If we need to, like, at a moment's notice, which is pretty good. But I have opted not to do that, so... <laughs> It's just something I observed would probably be helpful. Garlic is an interesting 
thing that I'm doing, but I'm not sure how well it's gonna work out overall. It's more of a, like a starting thing than a late late game thing. So we're probably not gonna want to keep that around, basically, because we're gonna use that area for spike weed and spike rocks. So more zombies approaching. Let's see what's next. We were able to deal with that pretty well. Ah, uh, balloon zombies. That's interesting. We're gonna actually have to adjust something for that. So. I've opted to go with cattails for this, which is an interesting choice. Because we're gonna have to make some space for it in the pool. But also, we, we can only place it in the pool, so we can't really just put it in every row and hope that it's gonna hit everything. But each shot aims towards a specific zombie. It can't, I don't think it can hit different zombies if it misses. But they do turn into the zombie they're aiming for, so that is good. As you can see, it misses quite a fair bit. But now we have two of those in there, that's all we're going to put in. Let's see how it goes against the balloon zombies now we've reached the, the first wave of this round. That's when they add the new zombies in, basically. Well, there they are, and it's working pretty well. Nothing's getting quite uh, close to our, our wall yet. And we've managed to use some pumpkins to power that up, so that should last a while. As long as we don't run into anything too terrible. Let's see how we go with this final flag for this round. a lot of balloon zombies. Need to make sure we get them before they get over our wall, basically. Although we have chompers there to deal with that. But if they get any further than that, we're in trouble, basically. And there we go. Eight flags down. Twelve to go. It's fine. Let's see what's next. Ah, uh, Gargantuas, uh, Diving Zombies, and the Snow Maker thing. Which is gonna really be a problem for our spike. Spike rocks and spike weed stuff. Ah, uh, but we'll figure it out. I've made an interesting choice to change what I'm putting out in the middle there. From chompers to uh, melon pulse, which is probably a good move. Melon pulse can hit everything around that area that they hit, which is really good. But it's a bit late in the, 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 the flags to be changing strategies like this. I probably should have been doing this from the start, so... Like, really should have been doing it from the start. Let's see where this goes. I had recommended, so... There's some stuff that will be popped. Probably gonna have to start juggling... ...stuff that's destroying... ...the spike rocks. Which would be annoying. We're gonna need a lot of spike rock power. I guess, I don't know. We have to, like, switch it out very quickly. And hope that it recharges fast enough to... ...do it, basically. And replace that chomper. I think it's probably worth doing at this point, probably, in the pool. Just because there's so much stuff in there. Oh, Gargantua. Let's see how this goes against it. Pretty well, except it throws its thing in all the way. And the only way that we can actually hit that is with the cattails, unfortunately. So, yeah, this is not going to go extremely well like that. But, I don't know. Let's see if we can hold out a little bit longer. We might have to replace a few plants, unfortunately. Okay, next wave. Let's see what we get. How we go. Having to replace some things. Spike weed and spike rock stuff. Oh, God, going to again. Try and use the Halfinia. Which does most of its damage, but it usually is able to throw its other zombie down, so... Oh, please. Nope. There it goes. We might have to start pumpkining that area up a little bit more. So let's do that. Are you impressed that this is post-commentary? <laughs> I'm impressed that it's post-commentary. Ah, uh, more stuff. And we're going to need to fix up stuff a lot more. Ah, uh, there's also football zombies, which are pretty strong. So we might want to try and slow them down on the spike rocks. But let's... Yeah, I'm not sure where that's going to go. We also definitely want to have pumpkins so we can upgrade some stuff to make sure it's not being absolutely destroyed. We are very low on sun. It might have been a mistake to move some of those sunflowers, but this is the best we can do. With our strategy, this is the bed we've made. Let's We have to sleep in it, so... Let's keep going. Slowing some stuff down with some ice, but it's a bit... It doesn't really work, though, because the fire is also going to speed them up again. So it would be really good to have the ice melon poles in the middle, basically. Almost, so they're hitting the stuff off the edge of the pool and getting the stuff on the outside. Basically, because the pool's doing really well. There's a lot of football zombies. We might be in trouble here. 
like a lot of them. Uh, spike rocks though, maybe helping? Maybe? Oh, it's taking a while though, and that pumpkin's going down. Bit of an early re recovery for that pumpkin, but let's hope that it pays off. Please, there's so many. So many. Even our, our, our melon poles aren't doing a ton. It, do it does look like it is slowing them down a fair bit though, so that's good. And that pumpkin is actually holding up. I guess that works, cool. Great, 10 flags down, let's go for the 11th one. Oh boy, what's next? Lots of things. At least we have the stuff out there to stop them, but we're gonna need to start juggling now. I wish the explosions would do damage to the zombies around them, but nope, that's not gonna happen, sir. Oh boy, there's so much sun as well. If we do it optimally, we could save a lot of sun, but we're not going to really be able to do that. Okay, next next wave. Next final wave. Will we be able to hold on? We still don't have a ton of sun, which is disappointing. If we had a good strategy, I think we'd have a lot more sun than this. Instead of just juggling around. A lot of football zombies. A lot of the spike weed and the spike rocks getting destroyed as well, which is going to slow everything else down. But there we go. It's another round complete. Let's see how we go in the next one. See what zombies we're up against next. Oh boy. Giga Gigantua. And also bungee zombies, which I did not prepare for. And also a ladder zombies. Yeah, I really didn't prepare for a lot of this, but it's uh fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's see how we go. We have eight more flags to get through. For the achievement anyway. That's what we, that's, that's the whole point, we're, the reason we're here right now, so. Oh boy. I think that we should be fine because we have so much stuff aimed towards there, but I really didn't prepare for it. I have jalapenos, but I don't think that's gonna really do a ton, to be honest. There are so many zombies at this point, and they're starting to become a lot more strong, stronger zombies than weak ones. I guess that's probably because I have so many defenses out there, but there's still a lot of the strong ones, so. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ladder, please no. If they get that ladder in, it's gonna make it a lot easier for them. Nope, cool. Good. We might be able to use a jalapeno to get rid of the ladders if we need to, though. Oh boy. Also, I think we are doing alright for the moment, so that's why we are skipping through this flat, these flags pretty quickly. Oh boy, here it goes. It's really strong and has a lot of health. We're in trouble. Oh, it's going through everything so fast. Although, I guess it was... Some of the stuff out there was already depleted a bit, so... But, yeah, we're gonna... Even a jalapeno didn't do a ton. Oh boy. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything is shooting at that and it's still lasting quite a bit. It's still going! It's still going! So much fire and flame! Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, we haven't even made it to the end yet. This is the next flag. We are in trouble. <laughs> so much trouble. Oh, are we going to be able to get those? The cattails have to take care of that one. There, will they do it? I don't think so. Nope. They weren't even aiming for it, so... going to have to replace that now. I don't even know if I've noticed that I need to replace it because I'm too busy watching everything d d just get destroyed in front of me. Please, burn. It's fine, everything's fine. Okay, we're good, but it just did get through our wall, so we might be... Oh boy, we have to really repair stuff a lot more going forward. We're only at 14 flags. We still have six more to go, but there's no gargantuas here. Like, mega, mega ones, anyway. Oh, uh, also mining zombie. I did not notice that. And I did not prepare for it either, so that's gonna be a problem. A big problem, especially because we haven't fortified our back row, our back column. I'm still getting that confused. Also, I have been thinking about playing Plants vs Zombies 2 at some point, but I just don't know when I'm going to do that or how I'm going to do that, so... But maybe at some point. It'd be cool, I guess. But first we need to get through this, and there's a mining zombie already. Because we've reached the flag, so... We're going to start having problems with that. 
Oh boy, I don't have a way to place that. Gotta have to dig something up to place it in. And even then, it's not gonna recharge fast. So we have, to, if we run into more, it's not gonna be. Oh, there's two down there. Oh boy. I need to do something. I mean, the cattails are doing something, but it's not gonna be enough. Also, I'm focused far too much on money right now, considering I don't need any any of it. Please stop that. Oh, there's so many of them now. I'm not- I have to like focus on both sides of the screen to keep up with all this. There's so much stuff. It's also quite loud. Wow. Oh, got Gantra at the same time as the, the minor zombies. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please. Don't eat my stuff. Okay, we're gonna have to start repairing some stuff. Nope, there's another one. Oh, there's so many. There's so many things. Two Gargantuas. Three, four, five, so many. Oh boy, mining zombies. On every, in every direction. Oh boy, we haven't even made it to the last flag yet. For this round. Come on. Oh boy, I really have to repair some of this. Again though, I haven't got, we haven't reached the final wave yet. So if this even, even if we start repairing stuff, it's not going to be enough. Like, we're going to have to repair even more in a second. Come on. Oh boy, here we go. So if we can use some pumpkins, that'd be good, probably. But I think I'm too focused on putting out sunflowers again. Oh boy, look at all of that. Oh, and they have ladders in now. Ah, uh, that's not good. If I could use a jalapeno to get rid of that, that'd be good though. But I'm gonna have to deal with everything else first. I think we're alright now though. It seems pretty good. But yeah, we're gonna have to do some stuff. Adjust our strategy maybe a little bit. Possibly, and we see, get to see what's next as well. I mean, we have a little bit more sun now, but we have a lot more to fix, so... Ups and downs. Oh boy. Boy, oh no. Oh, here we go. This is the best I can do, let's go. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> it's fine. Here we go, first flag. There is so much stuff that's gonna get through my spike rocks, I think. Which is not gonna help me much later on when the gargantuas get here. Oh boy. Well, at least there's nothing like, uh, the mining zombies. Because those are gonna- that would be more of a problem with everything else that's happening right now. But again, we, we're really having to juggle our uh, spike weed right now to take care of a lot of this. Okay, Mega Gargantuas, we haven't even reached the final wave yet. For this round. Oh boy, there's so many. They're just crushing all of my de out of defense. I'm still trying to get more sun back. Everything I put out there is just getting destroyed. I have that their entire cult the rose now losing control. We've they've breached that wall. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh bad. Oh I wasn't even paying attention to so much other stuff getting through that's gonna start destroying our stuff unless we put down more spike weed, which is taking a while to recharge. Oh, we're losing ground here. Jalapenos are taking a while to charge. They're breaking through. Uh, I think we've lost all hope at this point. We're going down. They have breached our outer defenses and they are still standing strong. Going through the rest of it. Oh, final wave. Ah, no. We are not prepared for this at all. Oh, well that one's down, but there's still more and there's more. After that, and the fires are down. We need to really shape up their breach. Their bottom rows gonna be destroyed as well. We're losing the top two rows and the bottom two rows at this rate. No, we're good. Maybe for a little bit, but I would think we're definitely losing the top two rows at this point, which is a shame because that means we have to repair and somehow hold on to those two rows for the rest of the flags that are left. Oh boy, please recharge faster. 
Recharge faster. I'm losing everything right now. We've lost three of our six rows at this point. I don't think we're gonna lose the pool ever. But the outside is the real problem. Okay, we've stopped that one. Uh, we're gonna have to start repairing that quickly because we're running into the next set of zombies. And also those are gonna just stick there to the next round. So uh, we're gonna start with a disadvantage for the next roll, basically. Oh boy, where to begin? Just gonna have to repair as best I can. But they're, like, they're already on their way. I think that after the raw mows go off though, it does give us some time to fix up, but we don't have enough time. I'm trying to put in some catapults to slow them down. And maybe work to cob cannons, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. The bottom rows are in trouble. <laughs> Look at how fast they're eating that. Look at how fast they're, there's so many, they're eating so fast. Ah! We're losing the top bottom two rows now as well. And I have not been focusing enough on fixing up the top two rows. So, yeah, we might be in big trouble. Oh, here they come. I've only got a few kernel pults to slow them down, and a melon pult, I guess, but even that's not gonna be enough. Goodbye, bottom row. At least we got all this money from it that I don't need. Oh boy, I think this is how they expected you to get all your money for the Tree of Wisdom, but also, I just did it my way. We have 18 flags completed, but I don't, um, uh, that doesn't look like we're making it to the next one at this rate. They're eating through everything. Well, there we go. That is the endless mode. Basically. Just gonna let all this stuff fade away. Like the hopes and dreams we had going into this. But we have failed. No. no! Well, well, let's do it again. Just better this time. We're going for a very different strategy this time. As you can see, I've selected a bunch of plants you wouldn't even think of bringing out until much later. So let's get started. Planting out sun in the middle, which is an interesting choice. In the pool. I'm gonna try and branch out there later on. Uh, but for now, we're putting in some catapults, which is interesting. You also can see I have some fume shrooms to plant out, which means I also have to use the coffee bean to wake them up. Oh boy, please stop that one in the pool. Also, I turned off music for this section, which I'm gonna try and put that back in. I don't know if there actually was a bug, or if I just turned it off to focus better. Possibly. It might have just been also because of grinding, possibly? I don't really know. I don't think so, though. I'm pretty sure I had all my grinding done by this point. Also, you can see I've already planted out one of the the leaf things, I don't know what they're called. To basically stop anything being thrown over there or bungee zombies coming down. Which is a really odd spot to put that, but it's more optimal I think for the setup we're going for later on. Because we're going to want to try and get some more kernel pults, no cob cannons in there, probably, because that's going to help a lot, probably. Just going to take out huge bunches of zombies and also shoot behind us if we need to. But yeah, we're also putting in some uh, melon pots as well. I guess putting stuff towards the back is also a pretty good strategy because it means that although the flowers, like the sunflowers at the front might be eaten, we're still going to hold up the fence power, basically. And we can uh, reinforce the sunflowers with pumpkins, so let's just keep this going as best we can. Oh, really? Stop that. Thank you, butter. It's it's all luck based with it, whether or not the butter is actually going to stop them. We're losing some ground here in the pool at the moment. But once I get a little bit further in, we might be able to start really getting some... We might be able to start turning the tide, basically. I But this strategy that I've gone with is very slow to build up, but it's I think it's going to work out for us fairly well. I mean, I'm from the future, so I should know. I'm over 100 days in the future, so I don't know. You have no idea what's happening right now. In the future. It's crazy right now. There's a lot of strong zombies there, but we might be able to get through them with a uh, melon pulse because they can just hit through everything. Okay, let's start planting out some fume shrooms, and I've also got gloom shrooms, which is why I'm doing this. 
because that's going to be able to get everything outside the pool as well as inside the pool, and I think that's what we want to go for. And if I can reinforce those, that'll be even better, so... The Gloom Shrooms take a while to, um, recharge though, so we're gonna take a while getting to that. But we've really started turning the tides here, and we have much better control, so let's start putting in some cob cannons. That way we can start just taking out huge groups of zombies. Whenever we need to, speaking of which, we have the... what's it called here now? I should also probably be reinforcing the back rows, so, or back column. Uh, let's put in some more fume shrooms in the middle, I guess. Kind of just off to the edge. That'll help reinforce the pool while also hitting the outermost lane as well. Which is what we really want right now. Let's make the most of these cob cannons for getting rid of those mining zombies. And we have four flags in already. This is going so well, it's going by so fast. So, I'll, like, this is going... This is going to go by so smoothly that we're basically going to be skipping over flags in the way that I've cut this up, so... Put in some more ferns. I think that's what they are. They're basically going to pr protect our uh, cob cannons, which is why I put them in there. Everything else further forward should be fine, because of the uh, gloom shrooms, I think. And I guess the melon pots as well, so we, we, we're basically very well protected towards the back. As long as we're reinforcing the outer layer of plants, we should be really good. As you can see, our strategy is going so well that basically nothing is getting into getting into the pool right now, even with the cob cannons in the middle, so... Those are going to be very helpful for the outer stuff, instead of having to deal with the, the pool stuff, basically. Also, I think we can destroy the ladders if the cob cannons hit, hit the area around them. Let's also start putting in some spike weed. Also, um, I forgot to mention that I replaced a uh, column of sunflowers with the uh, the cactus because that's just gonna that's just gonna work fine for taking out the balloon zombies and also doing damage to anything else. And we have as much sun as we are ever gonna need. Basically, we're we're pretty set now. Let's just set up the last gloom shroom, and we are we're basically set for the rest of the game, pretty much. I might want to put in some more ice. Melons, winter melons, and also possibly some more cob cannons, but that's about it basically. Just that and spike weed and pumpkins basically. We are good. We are already at the eighth flag, so that's pretty good. Going by much faster and much smoother than the last run, now that we know what we're doing. So let's just absolutely destroy everything basically. And just like that, we're up to flag 10. We don't even have to worry. We're done. Just look at that. That entire wave is done already. A lot of stuff here. Also, there was a uh, Yeti zombie that spawned in, but it lasted about two seconds on screen, so... Bungie zombies, not a problem. We have a lot more winter melons now, which is good. It's gonna slow everything down a lot more. And it doesn't have to fight with any flame stuff this time, so we're, we're really gonna go well. This is such a good strategy. I don't know how I got to this point. I did see a picture basically on Steam, which was the fume shrooms in the pool, kind of. But I didn't actually know what how to use them. But it, it I, I figured out this, uh, this on my own basically. I just threw a lot of this together and it somehow worked. Just not using fire goes a long way. Also, we're already up to the 14th flag, just like that, and 15th flags, we're going up to the 16th flag already. But now we have some gargantuas to take out, so let's just do that. So easily. Nothing can get into the pool, nothing can stop us from just destroying everything with cob cannons. We're doing so well right now. Oh, please don't eat that, please don't eat that, please don't eat that, please don't eat that. That's one problem I didn't come I don't. that's one problem we're gonna have. Quite possibly. But we're still holding on, and we can fix up a few more things. I just opted to fix that up straight away, I guess. Although I need to wait a little bit long longer, so. Let's get the 16th flag. Just like this. There we go. So easy, and the stuff in the pool is lasting forever, basically. I am doing a few repairs to stuff when the zombies pop out of the pool for the flags, but that's about it. 
We're up to the 17th flag and we're doing great. Mega Gargantuas are here. We're taking them out already. Oh, really? I have to fix that now. But luckily I have the three more Cobb Cannons to do the rest of the work while I'm fixing that up, so. And the, the, the Gloom Shrooms are really doing a number on the Mega Gargantuas, so. We are great right now. Especially if I could use the pumpkins and stuff. If they attack those lanes which, which don't have the cob cannons, it's really not going to even matter if they get that far in. But the cob cannons I can't protect, so they just do their own protection basically. Okay, 18th flag, let's go. This is a lot. This is the one that we basically lost everything to last time. And now look. Done and done, basically. I mean, there's still a few more gargantuas, but they're not going to last that much longer, especially with more cob cannons on the way. And everything else that we can use, so. There we go. We're up to where we were. With a much more efficient strategy, we have so much sun now. Look at it, we have 3,000 sun. If you have a good strategy, you have lots of sun. Oh, I don't eat that, please. Not again. Thank you. Okay. Last two flags. I don't think there's that much different from them. There's just more zombies, basically. But let's go. First flag. Very nice. Lots of money. We've actually earned, like, t almost 30,000 money from this. But, again, I don't need that much money. And if I was going the Tree of Wind Wisdom, I would need so much more money than that. It's not even funny. <laughs> I would, there are so much better ways to earn money than actually playing the game, I guess. Automated grinding is good. But yeah, we are approaching our final flag, and we're doing great. This has been a good, this has been a good run. This has been a good, this is a good game still. Just playing through again, it's been so good. It makes me want to play Pass for Zombies 2 for YouTube at some point. Also, I don't think I need to worry about that, but that's okay. Final flag. And just like that, we did it. We've reached 20 flags. And that is everything that we would set out to do in Plants vs. Zombies. So I hope you've enjoyed this this a full experience of me losing control and getting it back because we are a, but we've reached the immortal achievement. There we go. But that is it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Basically. But that is it for now. Gonna leave it there basically. We can actually come back to the flags that we leave if we wanted to. But yeah, we're done. It's time to leave. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Thank you.